Welcome back. This is a continuation of question 3a. This is question 3b. Let's go to the instructions. The instruction says retrieve the document or retrieve the spreadsheet. Question 3a. Change the question 3a in the header to question 3b. So I've retrieved my document. You know how to retrieve a document. You know where you saved. Question 3a. So, like I said, there are many methods, ways of changing, of inserting a header, of editing your header. I'm just going to go to my page layout view and go to my header and change it to B. Go back to my normal view. And they are saying, make all changes as indicated on the spreadsheet and according to the instructions now remember these are instructions and this is your guideline at the bottom or the next page so we can remember this is the insert sign i have done a couple of ticks on my document uh, so i need to change my heading crawford books to 14 pt and italic insert product sales report insert an open row insert new products total that 14 percent total amount and i need to delete the romance delete the row romance and then also insert final total average total amount highest selling price and total products that needs to be uppercase and bold please note that i also need to insert the new product the entire column including the figures over there a b c d e f g h you do not have to insert these are just indicators to us um, on the following instructions which is this over here so they indicate where the answer should be or where the calculation should be so I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting the and editing the document or the spreadsheet as indicated so first of all is they're saying insert an open row so I'm going to right mouse button, click on the column heading, or click on the column heading, and there's two ways of doing this. You can click on insert under home, and on the right hand side is insert, or I can right mouse button, click and insert. So they're saying Crawford books should be size 14, and it should be italics. Next over here, they're saying I should type in product sales report and a colon right next to the other space and this should be uppercase i've typed it in uppercase bold and should be single underline i have my open row over there and right next to stock on hand they are saying i should insert a new column so the same applies as inserting a row as to a column so i can click on the column heading, right mouse button click, or I can click on insert. So I'm just gonna use right mouse button click because it's easier. And I'm gonna type in new intern products. And then I need to type in the figures, 20. After selling price, and it is a total, total is there, then after total is VAT 14%. So right mouse button, click, insert, VAT. Note that 14% goes in a different cell, goes into the cell below. The reason why I'm emphasizing this is because we're going to do a calculation and it needs to be in a separate cell. And then insert a new column and this should be total amount and i'm just going to increase my column width again this will be a final total average total amount my selling price and total products and these all needs to be uppercase and bold 
according to the instruction. I'm going to increase my column width over there as well. And they're saying the romance must be deleted. Please note, you do not delete it like that. That's incorrect. So you're going to click on the row heading. And either same principle applies, delete. Or you can right mouse button click and delete. So I've completed all the instructions. Note, I do not type in the references as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Those are just indicators for the calculations. Let's go up to the instructions. Insert horizontal and vertical lines with the method you are familiar with. I'll show you that at the end. Remember, I always tell you to tick after each instruction. So do not tick 3.1. Do not tick 3.1. Let's keep that for last. That is cosmetics. 3.2 is insert the column and rows as indicated on the spreadsheet. We have done that on the guideline. We have done that now. 3.3 is insert the formula where the letters of the alphabet appear to do the following calculations. So A, total equals, it's very clear the instruction, open brackets, stock on hand, plus new products, close your brackets, multiplied by selling price. So they are saying equal. We always press equal when doing a calculation. We indicate in the Excel we're doing the calculations. Equal to open brackets, the instruction is clear, you should open your brackets, stock on hand, plus new product, close your bracket, and times, what is times, the asterisk sign, and you're going to click on selling price. You press enter, and that's my answer. You can see there's a dot at the bottom right, I put my curse on that dot, it changes to a cross, and this indicates to me that I can copy the formula. So I can click, keep my finger in the left mouse button and drag the answer down. So let's go to the next instruction, which is VAT. VAT 14% equals 14% of the total. Use absolute cell reference. It sends 14% of the total. So I'm going to show you to do it with out absolute cell referencing and this is incorrect let me emphasize this is the incorrect method so it's equal to total times i click on 14 percent and i press enter the first answer 392 is correct however if i want to copy the formula down that gives me these statements over here so if I click on the answer below, it says E7 times F6, but 14% is E, that's F5. So it is 3025 times by 392, which is incorrect. So it's going one down every time. You can see that. So these are all incorrect. So I'm going to delete all of this because we need to do absolute cell referencing. We need to make 14% absolute, whatever is going to be times multiplied by, it will be multiplied by cell F5. So equal to, I click on total, times 14%, and I press F4. Now dollar signs appears there, and this goes red which means that we are making F5 an absolute cell. I press enter and I drag my answers down. So now we can see that all these answers are multiplied by 14%. Okay. The next instruction. The next instruction is total amount is total plus VAT 14%. So it's basically 2,800 plus 392. So we're not, I'm going to show you the best method. We highlight and we're going to use autosum. Autosum is under home and you'll find it on the right hand side. And I drag my answer down. The next instruction is percentage of total amount equal total amount of each type as a percentage of the final total 
use absolute cell referencing. Now note that we have not done final total. In order to do D, we first need to do E, which is final total. So what is final total? Final total is the total of each column. So how do I get the total? It's auto sum. You highlight the correct range and I click on auto sum. So 112 is the answer. I put my cursor on the dot and I drag it across. Now, percentage of total. Remember when they always talk about percentage of total, percentage of total, they're always talking about divide. So they're saying total amount of each type as a percentage of final total. So we need to divide. So it's equal to a total amount divide by a final total of total amount F4 because we want to make this absolute. We want to make G12 cell absolute. And I press enter. Now, this is half correct because they're saying it must be a percentage. So I click on percent. And then I drag my answer down. Next one average total amount. The answer needs to be over there. So we're going to use the average formula. We're going to equal, indicate to Excel. We're doing a calculation. We're going to type average. Halfway through typing average, average appears. So I'm going to double click on average. There's an open bracket. I select the range, the correct range, not including the final total. It's from fiction to action and adventure. Note, I need to close my bracket and I press that I can just delete. Highest selling price. Whenever they ask for highest or the most, we are always using the max formula. The max formula for highest and most. So it's equal to MA. Max appears there. I can double click on max. You highlight the range. And you can close your bracket. You can please enter. Note that here by AutoSum, there is a range of formulas, frequently used formulas, and there's more functions as well. You can use that as well. For example, I'm going to delete that, and I am going to highlight action, or I can press equal over there, and I can use that auto, auto sum function. Not the AutoSum, but the max function. But I'm going to stick with this. Double click on max, highlight the range, close the bracket and enter. Total products. I can count. This is one, two, three, four, five, six products. So they're saying total products is the number of products. They're not saying auto sum. It's the number of products. So we need to use the count function. The count function, there are two count functions, a count A to calculate labels, which is ticks, and count, which is to count numbers. But the answer needs to be here, so we're going to count the numbers. So it's equal to count. I'm going to double click on count, highlight the range, the correct range, and close my bracket and enter. The answer is six. Let's go back to the instructions. So I've done all my calculations now. Number four, copy the formula to the other cells as indicated on the spreadsheet. Can you see we had those arrows over there? We had to copy the cells, at least the formula across. And we have done that already. The next one, display selling price total, that 14% total amount, average total amount and higher selling price as currency with two decimal places. So they're saying all of these over here needs to be currency with the RAND sign. So I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and currency. 
If it gives you hashes like that, that indicates to you that the cell is too small for the information to be displayed. So you're going to increase your column width. Next instruction. Display stock on hand, new products and total products as an integer. What is an integer? An integer is a whole number. So stock on hand, new products are integers already. There is no decimal places. Total product is a integer already. Display percentage of total amount as a percentage with no decimal. Note over here they said as a percentage of. So I have changed it as a percentage over here to percent and I made sure that there is no decimal places. Next instruction, adjust the column width to fit the spreadsheet on one landscape page. So we, as we were busy with calculations and typing the spreadsheet and doing the editing of the document, we made sure that the column widths are correct, but there's another instruction to change it to landscape. So I'm going to click on page layout, orientation and landscape. I can see now that my Page break has shifted, so this all is on one page. Save the spreadsheet as question 3B. Print the spreadsheet without row and column headings and hand it to be marked. Now, when we did question 3A, we added column, row and column headings. So I click on File, Print, is no row and column meetings, but remember question 3a it has row and column meetings. so how do I change it go to page setup sheet and row and column meetings. so tick for row and column meetings to appear no tick for it to disappear so this is question 3b and of course we have to save it so i'm going to click on save as browse and i'm going to change this to b so this is still question 3b and we had to go back to the instructions because the instruction says insert horizontal and vertical lines and how do I insert it? I click on home. Next to underline, there is a grid, which is borders. There's a drop down box. And the first thing that I need to do now is choose the line style. So second from bottom is line style. I'm going to choose the thicker one over there. And we're going to go back over here to the instructions. And you can see that this over here is the lines that needs to be created, not that over there. The copy is very faded. So I'm going to, the pencil appears. I'm going to draw the lines as indicated. Now, please note, I've, I've made an error over here, and I've done this on purposely, of course. What happens if you made an error? Um, if you go back over there to borders, you can see here's an erase border. It's an eraser. I click on the eraser, and you click by the error just to erase it. So that ends of question 3B in a nutshell. Thank you, everybody.